Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole bad baby situation. Once again, bad baby, a.k.a. Daniel Bagoli, a.k.a. this little damn girl has been 16 years old for the past four damn years, okay? Is she really just 16 years old? Because I'm starting to feel like she's low-key 20, okay? But anyways, what's going down right now, why she's trending all over social media, is basically she debuted her new look, and that new look consisted of her wearing box braids, okay? So when she posted on Instagram, it was literally crickets. Everybody was just sitting there staring at her like, really, you tried it. And then people started attacking her saying, you know what, it's not meant for your hair. Half the damn braids are slipping out. You're appropriating black culture. This is not cool. You're doing too much. It's bad enough you be out here trying to act like the stereotypical, you know, ghetto black girl. Now you're trying to wear, you know, box braids. So people were coming at her heavy and she decided to reply back um, via her Instagram story. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Bad Baby says, To all the black females that are saying my hair ain't meant for box braids, guess the fuck what? Y'all hair ain't meant to be straight, but y'all glue whole wigs to your heads. And so Brazilian slash Indian slash Peruvian hair, which is anything like your natural hair texture at all, and don't say a goddamn thing neither. Do the other cultures that you get their hair from. And on top of that, I'm not one of those people who has ever made fun or said anything bad about girls with box braids or any type of braids. I completely agree that'd be out of line and cultural appropriation if I was trashing black girls for wearing braids than getting them. But that's not the situation at all. So leave me the fuck alone or I'm going to start getting real disrespectful. Respectful. Oh no, bitch. Not not real disrespectful. Then she goes on to say this. I love the way I look. Plus your man agrees. We all know I look fine as fuck with any hairstyle I do from any culture because I'm just that bitch. I hope y'all bald-headed hoes stay up all night thinking about this. Me and my braids gonna sleep real good tonight. All right, y'all just heard what that damn chicken head had to say, honey. She's out here squawking and talking in her feelings because a lot of black folks are not feeling her braids. Me personally, I don't care what this little girl puts on top of her head. She just annoys me. She's been annoying me from day one. Like I've been telling y'all, I don't like little badass kids. I don't like the fact that, you know, she's basically playing a stereotypical role and she's able to monetize it. Whereas any other young black girls who have been on Dr. Phil for being bad or being disrespectful, nobody has seen or heard from them since, okay? So she wants to wear box braids. Honey, you do you. You can wear whatever you want to wear. Just like I can wear wigs and, you know, if I want to wear some Brazilian hair to the middle of my back, nobody's going to stop me, period, point blank, okay? My issue with you, Daniel Bagoli, is what you stated, okay? If you're mad at people coming at you behind these box braids, your little statement that you put out there, that's going to fan the flames even more, little girl, okay? What you should have said is, I don't believe that what I'm doing with my hair is cultural appropriation, but if you feel like it is, I apologize. But at the end of the day, you know, I really like this hairstyle and I'm going to do me. Something as simple as that would have sufficed. All this extra shit about, you know, people being bald headed hoes and, and gluing hair to our foreheads and all this disrespectful shit, you need to calm the fuck down. Not every black girl out here who wears weave is bald headed, okay? Including myself, I have a head full of hair, probably longer than your real hair, okay, ma'am? So we're gonna stop that narrative of black girls being bald headed just because they choose to wear weave to give their natural hair a break, okay? There's also such thing as cultural assimilation, and cultural appropriation and a lot of times when black women have to wear wigs especially in corporate environments a lot of times that's to assimilate I've been there where certain jobs especially when you're working with the public and they want a certain look 
Sometimes you have to perm your hair. You have to wear a straighter wig. You know what I'm saying? They really don't want you to wear an afro because sometimes it tends to scare people for some strange reason, even though that's just the way it grows out of our heads. So yes, you have some people who have to assimilate. You cannot compare that to you just waking up one day and deciding to have box braids because at the end of the day, you don't have to have box braids and nobody's going to judge you as harshly as they do black women who walk around with faux locks, block who walk around with full dreadlocks and box braids, okay? When young black girls tend to wear their hair in braids, they don't get a whole bunch of praises and accolades. Sometimes they get a side eye. Sometimes they get judged. But a lot of times when people of other cultures tend to wear the same styles, oh, it's seen as chic and cool and hip. You know what I'm saying? The Kardashians have done this. Nikita Dragon has done this. You know, it's always exotic when other races do it. But somehow when black women and black girls do it, it's just seen as ghetto. You know, and that's the issue that people have. And then when you're responding back in this manner, it's not okay. But again, are we shocked? This is the same girl who literally has made her rise to fame by basically beating up her mother and saying, catch me outside. How about that? So I'm never shocked at anything that comes out of her mouth. As disrespectful she is, in order to shut her up and shut her down, you just have to stop supporting her music and stop supporting what she does. That's the only way that you'll be able to shut her up. Until then, she doesn't care. She's a little young girl who's flipping at the mouth, and she just basically has not met the right black person to check the hell out of her, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Bad Baby and what she has had to say about her wearing her box braids and how she came off you know in my personal opinion very disrespectful with her response where really she could have just said you know what I'm gonna do my hair I want to do my hair it is what it is she could have left it just short and simple to the point all that extra shit about bald-headed holes and gluing wigs to their foreheads and all that stuff it wasn't necessary so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the thumbs up button and most importantly don't forget to hit the notification squad so that we can be down with the notification bell so let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning daniel bagoli all right deuces